So here are some wacky group shadow concepts for 2024. I grabbed a group shadow from one of my CDs and I'm basically quantizing it in weird ways with a drum beat just to show as an example. So here's the group shadow without uh, any processing. It's already pretty strange. Okay, now if you blended that with this rhythm the way I have it right now, the rhythm basically sounds like this. Okay, so you blend the groove shadow. And it's going to be somewhat useful like this, and that's the point of the groove shadow, but you can make it even, let's say, different. I don't know if it's more useful, but it's, it's different. All right, and so... Now we add the flex factor. So I've already sliced one of these. And this is random because I actually found out you can also adjust the transposition of a flex uh, audio track. And that's incredibly cool. So I did another mod here where I upped the swing and I put a crazy you know, quarter note um, quantization. And the algorithm in this case is slice. And so what that does is it makes these parameters here, um, you know, unique to this particular algorithm. And there's a couple of additional things here, but this has more to do with once you cut uh, regions, you can use fade in, fade out, and but you can also adjust the quantization strength here of this quantization parameter. So here is the groove shadow now affected with uh, the, the flex time factor along with the drum. So it's just an example, like just how quick you can make this. So let's say, or that, that's quarter note. What if I made it 30 seconds? You know, in something like this, you can add reverb to it. You can add any effect, basically. Or you can add an effect of just one of these. Um, and then also, you know, you got all your additional crazy DSP on top of that or automation so let's say I bring down the quantization and change the uh, quantize so I'm changing the swing as well There's so much audio warping there. This is actually hundreds of little cuts. Do you know how long it would take to do that? That's why when you try to do this like cut by cut manually, that's probably not how the pros are doing it because there's no way you can get in here and do all this crazy stuff uh, unless you wanted to spend all friggin' day doing it. So anyways, those are a couple examples on that one. And I did one more thing over here. I think I just... Um, changed like the quantization and the transposition. So let's see what I did here. So we can change it again just to get an idea. So you get the idea.